Curie developed the first periodic table in 1869. He arranged elements in order of increasing atomic mass. Elements with similar properties were grouped together in vertical columns. If you remember from a past lesson, a zigzag line divides the metallic elements from the non-metallic ones. About 20 non-metals are found to the right of this line. The metals are on the left. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium are together in group one because of similarities in chemical and some physical properties. For example, they are all metals. They conduct electricity. We'll study the reactions of sodium and potassium and from these try to draw conclusions for the group 1A elements. Sodium and potassium both react with water to form a hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are formed in the reactions. The reaction of sodium with water is a violent exothermic one. That of potassium is even more so. Therefore, we say that potassium is more reactive to water than sodium. The resulting solutions are basic, turning red litmus paper to blue. In general, the reactivity of metals in a group increases from top to bottom. Next question. Why do elements in the same group have similar chemical characteristics? Valence electrons are responsible for the chemical properties of elements. The group 1A elements have one valence electron each. Therefore, they tend to have similar chemical properties. This time, let's compare the reactions of magnesium and calcium. Both have S2 valence electrons, and on this basis, we expect them to have similar chemical properties. Magnesium does not react with water at room temperature. At 100 degrees Celsius, there is an appreciable reaction of magnesium with water, which produces hydrogen gas and magnesium hydroxide. Calcium reacts slowly with water at room temperature, and this reaction gives hydrogen gas and calcium hydroxide. Therefore, calcium is more reactive than magnesium. This is consistent with the generalization. Chemical reactivity increases as one goes down a group. We could expect the next element, strontium, to be even more reactive. 